Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Too Sweet. We are live on pay-per-view. This is the Madness brand. I'm Jeffrey Wrestling, and it is going to be a jam-packed night of professional wrestling. We just got the card run down, and we kick things off with a maybe six-man tag team matchup, or it's going to be three-on-one. We're about to find out. Does Shawn Michaels have backup? As Shawn Michaels kicks this pay-per-view off, he makes his way to the ring. And the Heartbreak Kid, and so far coming out solo, getting set to take on the band. And what a way to kick things off. There has been quite the feud between Shawn Michaels and Hulk Hogan. And we are getting to a boiling point, and we're going to have it here tonight, live on pay-per-view. And well, here comes the band. They're making their way to the ring. And Shawn Michaels is out there alone, and he does not want to take on all three men by himself. I hope that's not the plan here tonight. He said he had to make a call. He was going to call somebody. Here comes Kevin Ash, Hulk Hogan, Scott Hall, Eric Bischoff's old buddies. And here they come to the ring, and... Well, the bell sounds. We're underway. Hulk Hogan with Shawn Michaels sends him into the corner. Michaels though fighting it out. Michaels is really going to try to take on all three men by himself. That is an absolute mistake in this matchup. Michaels gets taken down by Hogan. And I do not like Shawn Michaels' odds in this matchup. Here's a cover by Hogan. Not going to put away Shawn Michaels like that. And now Scott Hall in the, the numbers game in this matchup. Hogan hits the second rope. Referee needs to get Hall out of there. Come on. Three men is just too much. Wait a minute. Scott Hall just grabbed Hogan. He's got Hogan's up. up. Wait a minute, Outsider's Edge. Oh, and now Kevin Nash is in. What the hell's going on? And wait a minute, Nash. Nash has got Hogan. Shawn Michaels just said two words to Hogan. Jack Nice power bomb to Hogan. And he's still fighting up to his feet. What the hell has just happened? Super kick. Referee has no choice but to cover one, two, three, it's over, Shawn Michaels. He made a call to, to the outsiders, to the band. Scott Hall, Kevin Nash have aligned with Shawn Michaels. And here on the Madness brand, we have the click. I can't believe what I just saw, Hogan has been betrayed. Here to kick things off on this pay-per-view. It's, it's an old-fashioned screw job. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what a way to kick things off. And the countdown to the man that is here to save the Madness brand, or so he says. Y2J Chris... Jericho, and if you remember in that promo that Chris Jericho cut, he had a lot to say about a lot of legends here on the Madness brand, and he was here to save the brand, and one of the names he mentioned was Sting, and we saw Sting looking on, and Sting is here tonight to prove that he's still got a lot in the tank, and Chris Jericho is going to have his hands full with a legend like Sting here tonight. And here comes the Stinger. This is going to be a hell of a matchup. Sting with that baseball bat. We saw Chris Jericho pick up a win on Madness. And Sting appeared from behind. And then Jericho got involved in that tag team matchup on Monday. We never saw Sting again. Him and Jericho battled in the back. It had to be broken up. Chris Jericho and Sting. And my goodness, we've already had... A betrayal, a screw job, if you will. And here we go. Jericho and Sting one on one in this matchup. Jericho catches him with a nice suplex, takes him down. Stinger face first. Jericho into the mat. And now he sends Jericho into the corner and a clothesline from Sting. And Sting is all pumped up here tonight on Too Sweet Live on pay per view. The third Madness pay-per-view, only two to go here on this season. If you enjoy the Madness brand, go ahead now and like this video. Give the Madness brand the support. We know there will be new 
superstars added. We want to have the advantage in the draft. So do so by not only watching the video, but giving it a like, giving it a comment. And the most popular brand always gets the advantage when it comes to picking up new talent. As the Stinger makes his way up now to the top rope. Jericho is down. Jericho back to his feet. Sting! Oh, he went for a crossbody block. And it cost him a high risk from the Stinger into a power bomb from Jericho. And you know, Jericho's the younger of the two, the faster. He'll take high risk maneuvers. And Sting, he takes a high risk and he paid for it. But the Stinger kicked out. Chris Jericho getting a one count. You're not going to keep the man like Sting down like that. But, oh, Jericho plants him. And now Sting having to roll to the outside. Jericho's going to go right out after him. But wait a minute. Oh, I thought he was going for the Scorpion Death Drop. But he dropped him right on his knee. And now Jericho. And Sting on the floor. Sting with the clothesline to the back of the head. And now Sting. With Jericho. Picks him up. Suplex right out here on the floor. And now Sting with the neck breaker. Referee still counting. Sting slides back into the ring. He does not want this thing to end in a count out. He wants Jericho up to his feet. Referee still counting. Jericho trying to get back up, and he finally does and makes his way back into the ring. This matchup will continue as Sting catches Jericho as he comes in with the Tombstone Power Driver. Sting caught him with the Tombstone Power Driver, and now Sting once again going to the top rope. High risk maneuver again. Oh, this time it pays off the splash. Cover on Jericho one, two, and ah, oh, Jericho able to kick out of it. Jericho kicking out. There's a kick. And now Sting picking up Jericho. Sends him up and over the top rope again. Jericho hitting hard. And now Sting wants him up to his feet. Referee counting once again. And now Sting... He's climbing the top rope. Another high risk maneuver. Oh my. Oh, but Jericho. Second time in this matchup. He sidesteps him. And Sting just hit the concrete. And now Jericho. Power bomb on the floor. And wait. Oh, he, he turned Sting over. He's got him in the walls of Jericho. The walls of Jericho right out here on the floor. Sting, you can't. You can't quit on the floor. I don't. I don't know if Sting was tapping out there or just. Just pounding the mat. He was in pain, but you can't lose the match up on the floor. And now Jericho back in the ring, but Sting drops him down. And now St oh, Sting with the chop to the chest. And now Sting once again fired up. He wants a piece of Jericho. He's going right back out here to the floor. These two men, hard-hitting matchup here tonight on pay-per-view. We know the stakes in this matchup. Jericho... Biggest matchup of his career here on the Madness brand. And Sting, he's got a lot to prove. He wants to, oh my goodness. Jericho punched him right in the face. And now Jericho go behind, picks him up, back suplex, plants Sting into the canvas, but Sting pops up. Jericho picks him up, drops him down again with the back suplex. Sting not popping up this time. Jericho now rolls through, and there it is. Walls of Jericho. Sting reaching for the bottom rope with all the... Oh, I thought he was going to tap out, but Sting turns him over. Sting with a kick, and he's still fighting in this matchup. Sting is still fighting. He's got Jericho. Oh, man, punch right into the face. Jericho. Oh, I thought he was going for a hurricane run. He got caught. Sting catches him into a power bomb. And now Sting, shot to the gut. Sting's got him up. Power bomb again, and now Jericho's the one down. But Jericho's back up to his feet. Catches Sting down. Caught him again. Sting, though, gonna throw him over that top rope. Oh, but Jericho hangs on. Jericho up to the top rope. Comes down. For, oh my god, a shot to the face. And now Jericho is pumped up. Jericho pulling Sting to the center of the ring. Oh, the lion salt. On the Sting, that's it. Cover one. Two. No, and Sting kicks out at two. I can't believe it. Jericho now picking up Sting Rollster again. He's got him a second time in that lion tamer of the walls of Jericho. Sting fighting for the ropes. 
but I think this is going to be it. He's going to have to give it up, Sting. He's so close to that bottom rope, but can he reach it? He's fighting. Wait a minute, he turns Jericho back over. A kick, and somehow Sting is still in this matchup. Sting again with Jericho. Oh, I thought he was going for that tombstone again. Jericho fought it off. Oh, Sting with the punch. Another one. And a third that takes down Jericho. Back up now to his feet. Sends him into the corner. And now Sting. What is he going for here? Face first Jericho into the mat. Jericho back up to his feet. Sting picks him up. But now Jericho slides off. And to the DDT. Chris Jericho. One step ahead of Sting. Cover one. Two. Oh, Sting kicks out at two. Jericho can't believe it. And Sting is back up to his feet. Jericho, though, look at these punches to Sting. And he takes him down. And now Jericho going to the top rope. Sting in trouble here. Look at this. Jericho comes down with the elbow right into the chest of the Stinger. And now goes for the cover. Here it is. One, two. No, Sting able to kick out at two. And now Sting, he kicks up again. Sting is all fired up. Oh, he went for Jericho. But Jericho fights back. Oh, he was going for that rolling walls at Jericho again. But Sting just kicked him right in the face. And now look at that Sting into the back of Jericho. Picks him up. Punch to the face. Wait a minute. Stinger death drop. The Stinger death drop. He got him in... Wait a minute, what the hell is this? It's Eric Bischoff! Eric Bischoff, what the hell is he doing out here? Why is he getting involved in this matchup, Sting? Distracted. Wait a minute, turn around! Jeff Jarrett, the stroke! The stroke! The referee didn't see it! And now Jericho crawling! He's crawling over to Sting! Don't let it end this way! One! Two! Oh my goodness, Chris Jericho just pinned Sting! From help from Eric Bischoff and Jeff Jarrett, you gotta be kidding me. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Jericho's the winner, but a huge assist from not only Jeff Jarrett, but Eric Bischoff as well with the distraction. And come on. head back down to the ring and it's now time for the triple threat Iron Man match for the international championship here comes Eddie Guerrero on his way to the ring Eddie Guerrero had some unbelievable matches with Kurt Angle not one but two weeks in a row and how about this man he was crowned the number one contender for the international championship him and Kurt Angle had a classic two out of three falls. We have not gotten a clear-cut winner between these two men. But you know, Bret Hart came out and interfered in the matchup between Kurt Angle and Eddie Guerrero, costing Eddie his chance. And this matchup was then made a triple threat Iron Man matchup. So we got Eddie Guerrero representing, of course, you know, El Paso, Texas, and also Mexico. We got Bret the Hitman Hart from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, and then you have the All-American, the Olympic gold medalist, the international champion, Kurt Angle, the champion. Three men, Iron Man match, you can score a pinfall, submission. There will not be any countouts in this matchup or disqualification, and the man with the most pinfalls or submissions at the end of the 15 minutes will be the international Heavyweight champion. There you see that beautiful title. That's what this one is all about. Eddie Guerrero, the hitman, and Kurt Angle. And this is going to be a wrestling classic. Three guys that can go. And, oh, Eddie comes flying right out of the gates. Goes right after Kurt Angle. Watch out for Bret Hart. Look at this, though. Bret Hart going for a DDT. Northern Light Suplex goes for the cover. And just like that, Eddie Guerrero breaks it up quickly. And now Eddie Guerrero with the DDT, he floats over, goes for the cover. You gotta be so quick. I guess the strategy so far is going for that quick fall, trying to get a, a pinfall victory over one of the other competitors. 
And then you just got to really kind of play defense. You got to watch the other guys from getting submissions. You know, each guy has a couple moves in their arsenal that can either get a pin or a submission. You know, Kurt Angle looking for the Olympic slam. Maybe the ink lock as well. Of course, Bret Hart will be looking to make someone give it up with the sharpshooter. And we know he knows tons of different ways to roll you up for a victory. And of course, Eddie Guerrero, watch out for the greetings from El Paso, the submission maneuver, or coming off the top rope with that frog splash. These three men, very evenly matched. We all know that they can wrestle. Of course, Kurt Angle, an Olympic gold medalist. You got Brett the Hitman Hart, the excellence of execution. And Eddie Guerrero, I mean, you cannot take away from his wrestling ability. Eddie can probably take to the air better than anyone else in this matchup. As he takes down the Hitman and he comes flying in. Bret Hart, though, out of the way. And look at this. Goes for the cover. Kurt Angle's on the floor. Not there to break it up. Two. Eddie Guerrero, though, kicks out. We are very early in this matchup. You know, these guys, we know they can go to the limit. We saw Kurt Angle and Bret Hart go to the time limit for the draw. And one of their matches, look at that picture. Perfect drop kick from Kurt Angle. He's got both men down. Picks up Eddie. Goes for that leg. Takes him down with the Dragon Screw leg whip. Oh, goes at Bret Hart, but misses. Hart, though, catches him. Big back suplex. So far, this matchup, these guys just filling each other out in the first two minutes. No fall yet. 13 minutes remaining, and now Bret Hart gets slammed down. You know, when you're when you're going one-on-one, -on -one, it's a different dynamic. When there's three men, you always have to be working the whole time, the whole time limit. Even if one man is down, you see Bret Hart out on the floor. Eddie Guerrero and Kurt Angle still going at it in here in the, inside the ring. Two count after the missile drop kick off the top rope from Eddie Guerrero. And look at this, Eddie Guerrero through the ropes, taking down the Hitman. Suicide dive to the floor. And now Eddie going to throw Kurt Angle back into the ring. He wants him back up to his feet. Bret Hart now coming in, back into the ring. Bret Hart grabbing. Kurt Angle sends him in. Oh, Eddie came flying with the drop kick, but he missed it. Bret Hart, I don't even think he saw it coming. Shot to the back. Go behind. Eddie Guerrero, though, able to reverse it. Oh, look at that. Eddie Guerrero just clipped the knee of the hitman. Unable to capitalize, though, because there's Kurt Angle with the German suplex, and he holds on. And he's going, it looks like, for the one, two, and three German suplexes. Eddie's down. Brett the Hitman Hart. He's going to be the one to capitalize with the cover. But you're not going to be able to get a pinfall like that. Kurt Angle still on his feet. Able to break it up. Oh, Kurt Angle with that kick. Maybe into the knee, into the midsection. Picks up Bret Hart. Power bomb. Plants him in. Oh, look at this. Eddie Guerrero. Power bomb of his own on Kurt Angle. And he folds him over. But he kicks out of it at one. Unbelievable. And Bret Hart is back out on the floor. That powerbomb might have taken the win out of the Hitman. Eddie Guerrero oh, catches the foot of Kurt Angle. Sends him in. Picks up Kurt Angle now to the top rope. There's a punch. Look at this. Both men going to the top rope. Is now Bret Hart back to his feet. Hurricane Rana from the top rope. But in comes the Hitman. But Eddie Guerrero, he hooks him for a suplex. Picks him up and drops him, and Brett is back out to the floor yet again. Shot to Kurt Angle. Turns him over, here it is. Submission maneuver. Eddie Guerrero could get it right here, but ah, uh, from behind, in comes the Hitman. And now Bret Hart sending Eddie into the corner. He's got Eddie Guerrero, comes out with the Bulldog right over the, the top. Of Kurt Angle, who is out, and the Hitman goes for the cover. One, two, and a kick out. 15 minute time limit in this matchup. We are already down five minutes. No fall has had been had. But now here we go. Inside the ring, he turns over Kurt Angle. He's got him in the sharpshooter. The sharpshooter being applied on that Kurt Angle, and Angle taps out. He tapped out before. Eddie Guerrero could get in there, and the first fall goes to Bret the Hitman Hart. Eddie now with the back suplex, planting Bret the Hitman Hart, and just under five minutes into this matchup, we have our first fall. 
And Bret Hart leads both Eddie Guerrero and Kurt Angle. And Kurt Angle's going to roll to the outside. After tapping out to the sharpshooter, we know the damage it does to the back and the, the knees. And look at this. Eddie Guerrero spins him around. Picks up the Hitman. One. And all of this. He's going for the three amigos. A second. Turns him over. And a third suplex. Down goes the Hitman. And oh, Kurt Angle gets taken down by Eddie as well. And now Eddie Guerrero going to the top rope. He's got both men down. Eddie Guerrero, though, he is slow to get up to the top rope. Took too much time. Hitman's up. Catches him. Oh, he's going to leave him on the top rope. Look at this. Russian leg sweep from Brett the Hitman Hart. Now he's going after and throw that out. Now he throws Eddie off. Goes for the quick cover on Kurt Angle. One. Two, and now Kurt Angle able to kick out at two. Eddie Guerrero rolling to the outside. He's down. And Bret Hart, I mean, you go up two falls, you're in a really good spot. But right now, Bret Hart just needs to hang on and make sure either other of the other two can get a pinfall or submission victory in this matchup. Kurt Angle now. Three German suplexes onto the Hitman. Goes for the cover. Hitman is down. One. Two, and Bret Hart able to kick out at two. Eddie Guerrero back up to his feet. Oh man, just a haymaker there from Kurt Angle. Bret Hart though turns him around. Eddie comes flying in with the flying head scissors on the Hitman. And now he's got Kurt Angle picks him up. Oh, but Kurt Angle caught him. And now look at this, Kurt Angle, blockbuster off the top rope, plants down Eddie Guerrero, and now picks him back up to his feet. Double butterfly type suplex there from Kurt Angle. Needs to go for the cover on Eddie, he does so. One kick out, Bret Hart back in there. We are just over the halfway mark of this matchup. Bret Hart leads it at one, Kurt Angle. Eddie Guerrero still unable to get a fall there, still at zero. But you can tell now, all three men moving a little slower in this matchup. It's going to be harder to break up a fall when you're down. Eddie Guerrero, though, catching the hitman. Shot to the midsection. Kurt Angle down on the floor. Eddie picks up Bret Hart. Going for a power bomb. Oh, up onto the shoulders now. Hitman thrown down across the top rope. Eddie now turning over the hitman. He's going for it again. Submission maneuver. Bret Hardy's right there at the ropes. Is he going to tap out? But now Kurt Angle comes flying in. Breaks it up. And now Kurt Angle again. German suplex plants Eddie. Goes for the cover on the hitman. Bret Hardy's out. One, two. He got him. Kurt Angle picks up a fall. Bret Hart was out from the submission maneuver. He might have passed out from pain. And now Bret Hart getting it taken to him on, by Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle needs to quickly go for another fall, but the Hitman off the back. Oh, look at this. These two men just tie up. There's a lot of hatred between Bret Hart and Kurt Angle. Oh, shot to the midsection, but from behind. Eddie Guerrero comes flying in. Goes for the cover as Hart to go ahead in this matchup. But he's caught by Eddie Guerrero. And now Guerrero going to snap him over. And, oh, nothing fancy about that. Right to the face. Picks up Kurt Angle. And now look at this. Eddie Guerrero Gory special submission maneuver. Oh, but he plants Angle. He plants him. And Angle's got to roll to the outside. And Bret Hart rolling on a dodge. He might have felt the frog splash coming on. And now, oh, Eddie comes jumping off the top rope. He might have slipped. And Bret Hart, both men landed very hard there. Oh, look at this, Eddie. This time... Catches him with the springboard. Oh, but shot to the midsection. And now Bret Hart with the arm, but Eddie fights it off. Catches him. Takes down the hitman. Kurt Angle, though, back into the ring. And here comes Eddie again. Look at this. He's got him up. Splash Mountain Powerbomb folds him over. Cover one, two, and Kurt Angle's able to kick out at two. My goodness, and now Eddie, shot to the midsection of Bret Hart. Picks him up, Brain Buster dropped him right on top of his head. Bret Hart could be out, but now Kurt Angle back to his feet. He gets caught by Eddie, suplex down, Eddie going to the top rope. 
This could be one fall apiece if he can hit it and he does! Frog splash on Bret Hart! One, two, throw! Oh, now Bret Hart kicked out! Bret the Hitman Hart! He kicked out of. I can't believe it! He kicked out of the frog splash! Submission maneuver, but here comes Kurt Angle! And Angle again breaks it up! That was as close to a three. A three count as you could possibly get. I think Eddie thought he got him, but Eddie's still at zero in this matchup, and he is desperation mode at this point. He needs to get a fall because he needs two falls to get the win in this matchup. Picks up Bret Hart, power bomb, right on the back of the head. Bret Hart gonna roll to the outside. Oh, went for a kick, got caught from Kurt Angle who plants him. Three minutes, 33 seconds left in this matchup. Eddie Guerrero's going to need two falls to get the win. But right now he's getting taken to him by Kurt Angle, who would love to go up two falls here if he can get a win over Eddie Guerrero. While Bret Hart is out on the floor, went for the drop kick, missed wildly as Eddie Guerrero moved out of the way. Eddie again shot to the midsection, picks him up, drops him down with the brain buster. He hit one on Bret Hart now on Kurt Angle. And now sends Kurt Angle... Or I'm sorry, since Bret Hart over the top rope, crashing down to the floor. He's got Angle down, and he's going to the top rope. Oh, went for the backsplash. The big time sent on, but Angle got his knees up. And now Kurt Angle with that E1 German suplex. Two. And still Eddie fighting to his feet, but Kurt Angle not letting go. Three German suplexes. Down goes Eddie Guerrero, but Bret Hart's the one that's going to go for the cover. Not going to do it with Kurt Angle right there. And now Bret Hart and Kurt Angle, both men at, at one fall apiece, looking to go up. And we are just over two minutes left in this matchup. Kurt Angle taking down the hitman. He wants Eddie back to his feet. Picks him up. There it is, Olympic Slam. Cover one, two, and oh my goodness, Eddie Guerrero kicks out of it. Eddie Guerrero kicks out of it, and now there it is, the ankle lock. Ankle lock applied. Let's get all with Bret Hart's right there to break it up. The hitman able to break it up. Kurt Angle picks up Bret Hart, slams him down. Now he's got Eddie, and we got one minute, 40 seconds left. Belly to belly suplex, and now Eddie Guerrero rolls to the outside. Kurt Angle's down, he needs to get out there. We got a minute and a half left in this matchup. He's got Eddie, oh, he sends him into the ring post. Down goes Eddie. Bret Hart is still trying to fight up to his feet. Oh, into the ring post from Kurt Angle. One right in the of the face. Eddie Guerrero is down. Oh, but look at this, Eddie pops up, caught him with the knee, right into the face, and now Eddie Guerrero, he's fired up. Eddie Guerrero, needs he's got one minute, he needs to get not one, but two falls to get a, have a chance to win this thing. And we are under the one minute mark here, Brett the Hitman Hart, Eddie Guerrero on the outside, down goes Eddie. Oh my goodness, the Hitman. Sending Eddie down yet again. 44 seconds left in this matchup. Back into the ring. And he's got... He's got Kurt Angle. Snaps him over. Picks him up the hard way. He's got the legs. He's going for it. This is how he got the first fall. He turns him over to the sharpshooter. Into the sharpshooter. Kurt Angle. He's going to have to tap out. But oh. Did he get it? No, it's still one. He didn't get it. Eddie Guerrero broke it up just in time. Eddie Guerrero, he cost Bret Hart. And now Eddie, gory special. Bomb on the Bret Hart. But three, two, we're out of time. That's it. It's a draw. Bret Hart and Kurt Angle have tied. Well, you know, Bret Hart... He cost Eddie Guerrero his chance at the International Championship, and now Eddie Guerrero just cost Bret Hart. He had him in the sharpshooter. I thought that was it. I thought Kurt Angle was tapping out. Eddie, though, breaks it up, and we end in a tie. Kurt Angle is still the International Champion as the Dudley Boys, the challengers, make their way to the ring for this Tag Team Championship matchup.
We're going to have to hear from either Shane McMahon or Eric Bischoff the ruling on the triple threat Iron Man match. Because we once again leave with no clear cut winner between Bret Hart and Kurt Angle. How many times is this going to happen? And here we go. Here come the, the Madness Tag Team Champions of the World, Christian Edge. They have won those titles. They have had something going on with the W since day one. And tonight, it's a hardcore, extreme rules, whatever you want to call it, anything goes, tornado style tag team matchup, which you would think would be in favor of those damn Dudley boys. And there you see the tag team titles. We know this one's going to be a war. These men have been attacked. They put each other through tables. We've seen chairs being swung wildly. And here we go. The Dudley's Edge and Christian one team is going to walk out with those Madness Tag Team titles. Christian with Bubba Ray going to snap him over for a suplex. Edge gets, how about that, like a T-bone suplex onto Edge. Christian, though, fighting at Bubba Ray. Look at this, Devon submission maneuver, and that could have been it right there. It's one fall to a finish. This is not an elimination matchup. So it's only going to take one fall to get the win. You really got to watch your partner's back in this one as all men are legal. All men are in the ring at the same time. Anything goes. Bubba Ray, the first man to go out under the ring. And for whatever reason, in the professional wrestling world, there's always stuff under the ring. And how about this? The Dudley's trademark. And it's not Devon getting it. It's Bubba Ray getting the table. Devon choking Christian inside the ring. Bubba Ray's got the table inside the ring. Oh my goodness. Edge taken down. We know these guys have used tables before. Here on the Madness brand and Christian with Bubba Ray. What is he going for? He's going to pick him up. Suplex come right through the table. Bubba Ray brought it in. He's the one that gets put through it. Cover but Devon able to break it up. Oh my goodness, Devon with the kick to the head and now a shot to Christian, gonna pick him up. Drops him down into the canvas. Big time suplex onto Edge. Bubba's right there to go for the cover and like it's a one count. Edge able to kick out of it. And this matchup just getting started. We've already had a broken table. And this is nothing more than just a fight. Christian on the outside gets back up to his feet but thrown down by Bubba Ray. And now Bubba Ray under the ring and he's got yet another table. Second table introduced into this matchup. Devon and Edge fighting on the other side. Christian comes flying over, takes down the table. Bubba Ray, they're going to send him into those steel steps. Again, Edge gets planted inside the ring. Devon, he's got Edge in a bad spot. The table's right there. Edge could be in big time trouble here. Suplexed Edge, no Edge. He's going to reverse Devon. Now he throws him back inside the ring. I thought he was going to try to suplex him right through that table on the outside. There's a DDT face first inside the ring. And now Edge. No, Edge is going under the ring. I thought he was going to come. And Edge has got a steel chair. Oh, and he hits Devon. Midsection DDT on the chair. We know Edge and Christian are known for the chairs. The Dudleys are known for those tables. And we're getting them both in this matchup. And now Edge has got a kendo stick. And he's swinging wildly all over Devon. Bubba Ray's under the ring. What? He's got a ladder. Bubba Ray Dudley with the ladder. And oh my goodness, he he doesn't jump off of it. He literally throw, hits Edge with it. And now on the other side, we got Christian down. And look at this Bubba Ray setting up a ladder in the ring. This is not a ladder match. There's nothing to climb up and grab, and it's over. He's going to use it as a weapon. And he's going to throw it. Oh, he threw it at Edge, but he missed him. But Christian comes flying in, plants Devon into the table on the outside. 
picks him up, slams him down, and now Bubba Ray, he's got the ladder once again, but Christian fights it out of his hands. We got all four men out here on the floor. Dangerous spot to be in. As, oh, Bubba into the ring post. Devon, though, sent back inside the ring. Christian striking a five-second pose out here on the floor. Oh, Edge O'Matic out here on the floor from Edge. On to Bubba Ray Dudley, and that's on the concrete. Devon takes him down, though. Oh, face first again goes Bubba Ray Dudley. Now Christian, he's fighting Devon for the table. Devon, though, takes it back. Oh my goodness, Devon takes down Edge and Christian with the table. And now setting up the table out here on the outside. Bubba Ray gonna send Edge back into the ring. And that does not go well for anyone. And now Bubba Ray, oh, there's just a, a kick to the back of the head of Edge. He goes for the cover. Christian trying to come in to break it up. And now he does so. That could have been it for Edge. And now Devon. Picks up, drops down, Christian back of his head, the saving grace. Goes for the cover. One, two, and oh, Christian able to kick out of it. And now Bubba, back in the ring. Oh, but he gets caught, taken down. But now Devon, shot to the midsection. Picks up Christian, drops him down once again. Bubba Ray with the ladder. Oh, shot into the face of Christian with the ladder. And look at this, Bubba Ray's going up. Neckbreaker from Diva. Now we got Bubba. Oh, and he takes Christian and he goes flying off the ladder. And Devon's covering edge. Not going to get it done. Not going to keep him down like that. Picks up Christian. Kicks it up back of the head. And Bubba Ray's on top of that ladder yet again. But comes back down and oh, Devon, oh, Devon takes a shot. Sends him into it though. Look at this neck breaker from Devon Dudley. Edge gonna send Bubba Ray over. Oh, right into that ladder though from Devon. Russian leg sweep that takes him down. And now what is this? Bubba again with the ladder. Setting it up in the corner. That doesn't go well for him. Spear from Edge. Just like that out of nowhere. The spear, but Bubba Ray is right there to break it up. And he sends Edge into the ladder. And now what's he going for? He's going to power bomb him. Oh, right through the ladder. Christian's got a sledgehammer. There's a drop kick from Bubba Ray Dudley. Devon now going to pick up Christian. Oh, my God. Christian up in the air. Bubba Cutter and Christian just went through the table. That's it, cover one, two. Ah, oh, Devon thought that was it, but but Edge kicked out of it. Edge kicked out of it somehow. Devon goes for, ah, oh, but the sledgehammer. Sledgehammer to the back of Edge. And the cover one, two. And now Edge kicks out again. Edge will not give it up. Christian comes back in. He picks up Devon. Plants him with the electric chair drop. And now Bubba Ray, though, caught him. Bubba Ray picks him up. Bubba Bomb. He caught him with the Bubba Bomb. Goes for the cover. But Edge is right there to break it up. And again, it's Edge. Oh, Edge was going for the spear, but he tripped over Christian. Devon back to his feet now on the floor. Christian's got Bubba Ray Dudley. Christian cuts off Devon. And now Edge and Christian turning things around in this matchup. There's the flapjack from Christian and he wants Devon up. He's setting him up. Oh, but watch out for Edge with the sledgehammer on the Devon. I thought he was setting him up for that on prettier, but I got cut off. Oh my God, to the midsection with the sledgehammer, but Christian. Lands on top of Devon out on the floor. And showing some exhaustion. Christian has got the steel chair, and that's what brought us here. I don't think he plans on taking a seat. He swings wildly, but misses. 
Christian now back in the ring with the chair, but Davon cut him off. Chair to the face of Christian. But Davon, go behind from Christian. Oh, Bubba caught him. Drop kick to the back of the head. But sends him in an all edge. Shot to the midsection of Bubba Ray Dudley. Look at this. Devon with the submission maneuver onto Christian. Really cranking on that leg. Look at this. Devon just putting the boots to the legs of Christian. Christian. Wait, oh, going for the Bubba Cutter. Was thrown off by Edge. Devon, though, catches Christian. He's got him up. Center of the ring. Saving Grace. He planted him. Here's the cover. Oh, Christian. Unable to. I thought Edge was going to break it up, but he got caught by Bubba. And that's it. Devon got the win. The pin. And the Dudley boys are the new Madness Tag Team Champions. I can't believe it. Bubba Ray and Devon somehow pull this thing off. They win the hardcore match. And they are the new Tag Team Champions. And my God, what a matchup that one was. Bubba Ray and Devon. Maybe the greatest tag team. And wait a minute. It's the New Age Outlaws. It's the Road Dog Jesse James. It's Badass Billy Gunn. And they're taking it to the Dudleys. The New Age Outlaws are back here tonight at Too Sweet on Pay Per View. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. It is now time for our main event here tonight. And it will be for the Madness World Heavyweight Championship, making his way to the ring first, the challenger, the people's champion, The Rock. You know, since day one, The Rock has had his problems with Eric Bischoff and getting to that World Heavyweight Championship. He, he picked up the big win over Sting on pay-per-view. He has finally etched his name to be the number one contender. And since Shane McMahon has come here, he has finally given the opportunity to The Rock to compete here for the world title tonight. He's sick of all the interference, all the BS. It's all about one-on-one. -on -one. The legend, the Macho Man, Randy Savage, the first ever Madness World Heavyweight Champion. One-on-one -on -one with the People's Champ, The Rock. We know Shane McMahon. He'll be in the back. He'll be making sure there's no interference. He wants a, a fair fight. He has made it clear, and we're going to get it here tonight. Macho Man, Randy Savage, and The Rock. World title on the line. The bell sounds. This is... A classic between two, oh my goodness, of the greatest of all time. Macho Man, though, goes behind. And we got a little bit of a stalemate. Macho Man, though, throwing some punches. Rock, going to grab him, send him in. Got the arm, turns him over. Look at this, into a hammer lock. Macho Man, though, fighting back. Shots to the midsection. You can't take anything away from the Macho Man. Maybe you don't like the way he became champion and some of his antics. But he's gotten victories over some of the top competitors in the wrestling world, including The Rock. As we saw Macho Man Randy Savage team up with Jeff Jarrett to defeat The Rock and Sting on Madness. But tonight it's one-on-one, -on -one and The Rock is looking to become the new Madness World Heavyweight Champion as he plants the Macho Man into the canvas. Macho Man, though, with the DDT. The Rock right on top of his head. Thought he was going for it again. This time going to pick him up. Makes him think about it. Comes down with the suplex. Plants The Rock. And now look at this. The Rock is the one rolling to the outside. Collecting a couple cobwebs. But he, oh, and he grabs the Macho Man. And he plants him. Picks, oh, look at that. Went for a shot. Missed it. Macho Man, though, fights it off. Shot to the midsection. And now the punches. Sends a rock into the corner, or in the corner of the table, I'm sorry. And there now, the Macho Man taking it to the ribs of the People's Champ, The Rock. The Rock holding on to his midsection as they fight out here on the floor. Macho Man drops an elbow and putting the boots to The Rock. But the Macho Man back into the ring, and oh, how about it? 
The Macho Man is all fired up. He's going to the top rope. He comes down. Oh, he went for the double sledgehammer, but The Rock got out of the way. And now The Rock sending the Macho Man back into the ring. Picks him back up to his feet. Oh, came through. Oh, Macho Man, though. Nice reversal. Grabs The Rock. Plants him with the neck breaker. And oh, The Rock, though, kips up. And The Rock comes flying with the Bulldog. He takes down the Macho Man. And The Rock is all fired up. He's got all oh, of this. Trips him down. Right under the bottom rope. Macho Man's throat choked across that bottom rope. And now The Rock going for the cover of the Macho Man. Only gets a one count. Macho Man able to kick out of it. You're not going to keep down the World Heavyweight Champion like that. Macho Man comes in, but he gets caught. Now it's the Rock pitcher, perfect neck breaker, planting down the Macho Man. And now the Rock might be going for the most electrifying move in sports entertainment, the people's elbow. He planted the Macho Man, goes for the cover one, two and all the Macho Man. He kicked out of it. The Rock can't believe it. The Macho Man kicked out with authority out of that one. He could probably feel the World Heavyweight title coming out of grips there and now The Rock is the one climbing to the top rope The Rock, he comes down with the sledge on to The Macho Man and now The Rock putting the boots to The Macho Man The Rock boots two asses on The Macho Man, Randy Savage picks him up, throws him back into the ring You can just feel it. The Rock's got things going his way now. Picks up the Macho Man. Oh, he was going to go for a spine buster, but he got caught. He got caught in that DDT. And now the Macho Man, the power driver. That's the same move he used to lay out the Rock in the King of the Mountain world title matchup. Oh, but the Rock kicks out at two. And the Rock is still in this matchup. The Rock is still in it. And now look at this. The Macho Man putting the boots to The Rock. Big punches there. Another one. Got The Rock. Gun wrench suplex plants him. The Macho Man just staying on top of The Rock. Look at these boots. Gonna pick him back up now. Look at these punches. The Rock is about out on his feet here. And there's a clothesline that sends The Rock all the way to the floor. And Macho Man not going to let him get a, breathe, a breath out there. He's going to come right after him. Picks him up. Drops him down with the atomic drop. Now the Macho Man back into the ring. And he wants The Rock back up to his feet. He's going for it again. Maybe that double sledge off the top to the floor. And he catches The Rock this time. Right in the face. Macho Man. He might have things going his way, but now The Rock. The Rock's the one that sends him in. And now The Rock with the spine buster on the Macho Man. Thought we were going to see the people's elbow, but instead thought better of it. Goes for the cover one. Two, no. Kick out at two. Macho Man back up to his feet. And now the Macho Man. Oh, he swung wildly. He swung wildly, and he walked right into a rock bottom. But now what the hell is this? Eric Bischoff's music. Come on, Eric Bischoff. Wait a minute. Shane McMahon. And he just threw Eric Bischoff. Eric Bischoff was trying to interfere in this matchup. But Shane McMahon wasn't having it. But oh, the Macho Man from behind on The Rock. He took down The Rock. Russian leg sweep. And now the Macho Man. He's going up to the top rope. The Macho Man setting up. The Rock comes down with the elbow. Here it is. One, two. No, The Rock kicked out at two. The Rock kicked out of it. I can't believe it. He kicked out of the elbow. But wait a minute. Jeff Jarrett. And now we got Jeff Jarrett coming out here. What the hell is this all about? And we, inside the ring. It's Shane McMahon! Shane McMahon just DDT'd the Macho Man! And now The Rock! The Rock back inside the ring! The Rock bottom, what the hell? The Rock! 
is the new world heavyweight champion. What the hell just happened? The Rock. The Rock just pinned the Macho Man with help from, from Shane McMahon. And Jeff Jarrett, what, what the hell was that? We're out of time. So long, everyone.